hello everyone and welcome back to the channel thank you thank you thank you and i'm gonna tell you right now we're on hot Mrs. street we in Mrs. streetville and i started a new channel so i want y'all to go on over there that's what it looks like you can just plug in make it make sense and go on over there and support your girl on that other channel <coughs> all right because i'll be covering <coughs> a lot more celebrities you probably won't hear me talk about anything dealing with Atlanta with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's what this channel is for. But I just want y'all to go on over there now. Go on now. So we can get, talk, get to talking on that station too. Or that house. Okay. We're going to be talking about Nene Leakes again. I know I did one on her before. Showing her going over there with her boyfriend. Slash cheater. Slash not a good man at all. Okay. And I have my reasons for saying that. I just don't understand how Nene can dog Kim Zosiak out. I mean, like the whole first couple of seasons they were on there when she called herself dating Big Pop. But she gonna go and be philandering around with a married man. And I don't care what y'all say, that man is married. He is married, married, married. Don't come on my platform telling me no different. Unless you can show me a divorce receipt. Okay? But Nene is messing around with a married man. Now, I went on her Instagram account. I went on his Instagram account. He has Nene nowhere on his Instagram account. But he do have a white woman. I don't know if he designed that suit for her or whatnot. But she's a white woman in a lavender type suit. And it's another black woman on there. She's in like a, uh, I'm talking about Nayoni's page. And she has on like a mustard color, a yellow uh, type of suit. Real sharp can't take that from that man that man is an icon when it comes to fashion it's just some of the flowers that he gives us and the fluffy uh sandals he'd be flip-flopping around in it calls one to pause <laughs> okay and rethink what they just saw but like i said ain't no sense of flossing a man on yours or social media like he yours and all that and then he don't do the same on his instagram account facebook account or any other account out there and it's just piss poor now nene was over there partying going on and all this that and the third and i can't you know wrap one up for Nayoni, he visited a uh burn center seems like it was geared towards children but it could have been uh, they may have just visited the children wing and not the grown folks wing. But they did some phil philanthropy type work over there. Hopefully they dropped some checks over there in that burn unit to keep it going. And, and building up other resources. Uh, but Nene was nowhere to be found. And I thought that was like, what, what? Okay, I understand that you may have come over there. You visit Akon, like I showed y'all in my last video. And maybe Akon was drumming up some business and that just took you out. Like you didn't want to go in doing any more philanthropy type work. But I'm like, if your man, your so-called uh, boyfriend, okay, who is actually married still. Uh, and you're philandering around with him. Why didn't you go do your uh, philanth philanthropy type of... Uh, we call it showcasing you could have put it on your instagram account you know to drum up resources to send over there i mean it's a good thing it's a a good cause to be concerned about and you know wanting to make people aware so if they want it to be charitable they could send some money over there for that particular purpose but you didn't do that they're called afrocentrics or afrocent trips or something to that degree you can look them up maybe they'll have a 1-800 number or a mailing address where you can send your money to support them and what they're doing it is a good call so one up for him i can high five him about going there but his other friends that were traveling with him and nene they went who was that lady y'all who that lady i could have sworn i saw her on real housewives of atlanta but it had been some past episodes when nene was on there and the man kind of looked familiar in that white shirt as well but uh, uh naomi he was there somebody took a photo of him i don't know if i got the photo of him being at the burn center but i can say i saw him at the burn center now i don't know what nene was doing uh she was complaining that it was hot and just that in the third but she could showcase and get her ass out there and flounce around showing her titties and in a see-through sheer black uh top and all like that I'm like nene nene 
But anyway, th this is like the burn um, children of the burn unit for the children. And uh, you can see that looked like a cast on his little behind. What happened, I wonder? But I don't know. But it was kind of touching. It's kind of sad to see children, you know, um, suited up like that and all those gauze type materials to keep the burns secure and not, you know, being getting infected and stuff of that nature. But so sad, so sad. But he is putting, he did have it on his Instagram account account which is not only and he was showcasing ways you can help another uh sector or another country with illnesses and things that we suffer for for over here or suffer from over here as well okay but yeah nini was nowhere to be found and i was like oh girl okay you about yourself but like i said when you're on a trip and you can do humanitarian type stuff Go on, it makes you feel good. But if she was just over there trying to get her uh, mental health in order, she just wanted to relax and party, okay, go do your thing. But the rest of the trip, that's what Nene was doing. Now, I'm just going to say for the people that are haters, that want to come over here and tell me, you don't know what you're talking about. He, <coughs> Naomi's not married. They sing of Nene is enjoying her life, let her live her best life. Well, why would you want Nene to be in a situation like that? Well, she's messing with a married man and she's traveling and i say one up to the lady that's supposed to be married to him but they're separated i hope he paying her i hope he is or maybe they just split and went 50 50 like you do your own thing i'm gonna do my own thing but still that's a bad situation now then it's just how you got him is how you can lose him and even if he got a divorce from his wife married to you you should be scared you should be terrified that he would do the same thing that he did to his wife to you and who fought would that be yours yours and then yours okay i don't know what's wrong with you and portia i really don't understand but once and and for all you keep showing your shit i don't like it i'm gonna keep telling you what i feel about it you know it's just that's how it is uh but yeah and then nini if you go on her instagram account i think she still has her little vo uh what do you call it movie video up where she was showing how sh lavishly she's getting down and how she's faring well then nini don't go on your platform and say uh you broke they stopping you from getting work just that third because anybody stopping me from getting work i'm consolidated i damn sure ain't gonna take no trip over to africa Accra, africa because that sounds expensive okay unless uh due to the pandemic and all that stuff it was a cheap flight round trip for you did you pay for both of y'all or did you just pay for yourself curious minds want to know let us know nene well you probably wouldn't tell us the truth anyway you probably put the bill just like portia put, uh fit the bill over there when she was chasing after her so-called boyfriend thinking he was cheating on her yep and see that's so disrespectful why would you go to a club and be sitting with your nasty shoes on that couch that nene is sitting on as well the floor the gr all that stuff that you walking on is dirty covid you know probably proven why are you putting your flip-flops sitting on somebody's uh couch in a lounge where that's where you're supposed to be sitting on with your good clothes okay this nut sitting up there you see what i'm saying disrespectful as hell i ain't gonna say that's just a nigerian culture uh -uh. i'm just gonna say that's piss poor at uh, being a man you wouldn't want nobody up there on your stuff if you own the club you don't want nobody sitting up there like that what kind of some kind of jew joint oh all right he, I just got on my nerves. He lost all brownie points with me. First, you know, he was doing good with the philanthropy type work, bringing awareness for the children, burn center. Then he gonna get up here and then be in somebody else's establishment and and be sitting with his shoes on top of the furniture. You know, you you, you get an ass whooping. You be doing that shit on your mama house when you you know y'all were young or whatever. You putting your feet up on her good couch. You sitting on the edge of the arm handle on a couch. So God, you used to get your ass beat. Or cussed out real quick fast than her but i'm like you know <sighs> i just don't see it i don't see a relationship people saying nini living her best life she's with the man that she loves instead of third but that man showed her no affection and i went over into her you know like i say instagram accounts where they're loving on each other hugging each other but i see no kisses i see none of that what they are going on 
Uh, well, is that a, uh, now I'm just thinking because I, I, like I said, I don't understand it. When you're in a good mood, you're hugging on your man, your man kissing you, you know, y'all probably doing a little touch and feely, you know, not too obsessive to make people think y'all need to go into the room and get handle that sexual urges y'all got going on. But, you know, she was almost got between his legs right there, just holding on to them like, girl, girl, you are a, a, a sex something or what? I don't know what it is, okay? Or maybe you're not getting on and you just want to play with him and see if he can get hard or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, so many things going through my mind when I look at him. I don't know. He don't look evil or anything like uh, Portia, uh boyfriend look. He just looked like... I don't know. He looked like a scammer to me, y'all. It's like he just take. Now I ain't saying scammer. Like he just scamming, you know, or uh, selling something, and then you just don't get the shit or whatever. No, nah, I'm talking about praying on older women that, uh, you know, going through some trials and tribulations and need some type of uh, reassurance that they're a lady. You know what I'm saying? That they can still hold the attention of a man. I think he just caught Nene at a vulnerable time, especially when she getting her, uh, what do you call it? her um setups from P uh, peter thomas for let lack of a better word letting peter thomas set her up with some of his friends i'm like oh <laughs> not a good thing not a good thing but like i said nitty always having him uh on her uh social media platform trying to show him trying to talk good about him then she in her own little video she said y'all get um y'all get messing with a um get to messing with or be in a relationship with an african they are uh what you call it bossy they bossy i'm like oh girl you gonna never get nobody like greg greg was one of a kind okay and then you i ain't gonna say you took him for his wife but he was sure doing something that he ain't had no business doing and he ended up divorcing his wife okay let's see affection like that i see he give nene okay but i don't see no kissing i don't see no uh kissing on the face the tuck the, you know the earlobe or on the the throat I, none of that and but they in a, a relationship y'all say and it, this stuff can be uh we call it captured very tasteful tasteful it, you know what i'm saying like he could have gave her a little cheek on the peck on the lips or whatever not no tongue and then like that but something but this is like <sighs> foolish fuckery uh fraudulent <coughs> fakery fuckery uh type of optics i'm looking at i'm like girl i don't understand i really don't understand how are you going on how are you are doing this thing and they were supposed to be riding in a suburban or a limousine well i don't think the limousine is out most people don't get those stretch limousines anymore unless they're showcasing a birthday party or something to that degree they be on party buses now but he actually, or they actually were riding, uh, getting chauffeured to some club. And the uh, particular automobile they were in had lights in the ceilings and on the side of the panels of the side parts of the car inside interior. And it kind of reminded me of Bruce Willis when he had his wife got uh, taken hostage by some... Uh, I don't know rebels or terrorists or, or some people like that in his movie i don't know it's like a christmas uh die hard i think it was die hard two die hard three y'all know what i'm talking about but child it was a hot mess i was like what the hell is nene doing but y'all going up to the channel now subscribe make me happy and then i'll see y'all over there cranking out videos and we can have conversations over there you know that's all we do on my channel here and the, the new channel we just have conversations we just talk about shit that we ponder about and see if we can come to a conclusion maybe i got the wrong understanding but my family they may be looking at it from another whole different perspective and sometimes we do do that and i'll have to come back and say yeah okay i didn't think about that way it could have happened that way couldn't it it's just people no judgment no none of that we're just having a conversation that's all we're doing is having a conversation but yeah um uh, the last night I think they were spending over there uh, that's when they were arriving and they even had a police escort I don't know if I got it in this picture but like I said I forgot was this on Nayoni's page or was this on Nini's page but anyway they got a lot of lights they go to a uh, police officer uh i guess they wanted to be seen like they were somebody and i don't understand people you are somebody okay you supposed to love on yourself 
not look for validation from others okay you are special you're loved you're blessed and you're um beautiful okay that's what you should tell yourself all the time you're loved you're blessed and you're beautiful all right uh but yeah that was the time when they were first arriving uh after their flight uh, from atlanta or wherever they took off from to i don't know if they're in accra africa or i don't know where they are protect i think it's accra because they were saying it through their um video stream but yeah that's the outfit that nini is in and you can see straight through her shirt yep you can see her titties and all the m uh, just all of it out there and i'm like now damn you don't do that over here when you making video why are you gonna go over to another country and act the ass okay and like you're doing light porn or something like somebody gonna get off on it i'm like that's your man you supposed to be doing it for him but he ain't paying her no attention too much either it's like when she want to hug on him he allow her and i do that i pick that word specifically to say allow her to uh lean on him or hug on him he may give her some type of affection back but it just don't seem like it's reciprocated on his part it's not almost like he's just putting up with her like he's he'll be ready when this assignment is over so he can go on to the next lady and try to get her to invest in his business or his partner's business or whatever you know what i'm saying because i'm like i remember brett going over there getting fitted for some luxury clothes or whatnot because she had put it out there on her social media feed and you know he was definitely getting uh brent together looking fly but I'm like damn you had to go buy the, uh buy some suits for your uh son for him to take notice of you nene really girl because jc pennis would have did fine <laughs> <laughs> J.C. Penny would be fine for Brent, or you know Nordstrom's. He didn't have to have no Taylor fit shirt stuff like that. Cause Brent ain't like Brett. Don't seem like he's the type that he's all into that. Okay, that show, that wannabe, that facade type of thing. But I might be wrong. Brett might just be just as bad as Nene. But I don't know. I just seem like I'm getting um him having more vibes like his dad and he's in the uh background you know, observing stuff that's the, uh, what i get from brit uh and he seems like a good headed uh level-headed young man hopefully he will see <sighs> some of his mother's failures so he won't have to make those same mistakes and just not really get with the wrong crowd just get somebody uh not in the entertainment business okay especially they're higher up in there because you 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 you're gonna be doing some small things for some change to keep that relationship afloat but you know if you had somebody that you knew you liked prior to all this stardom of fame came aboard that's what you should look for those type of people those people who gonna love you for you who knew you who knew you before you became famous all right but yeah nini just was just piss poor over there you know she was like i don't mind her enjoying herself don't get me wrong but Nene and I are 54 years old. There's no reason for you to go be out there showing your titties. Okay? It's just, no. Uh, the cleavage is already enough. Okay? But to actually downright. I'm like, just well, go braless then. Go shirtless. Just show everybody. What you need to do since you're so carefree, Nene. Go on over there to one of them beaches. that They're, they're nudie beaches. Okay? A nudie community. And just show everything. Show your whole birthday suit. Okay? Uh, that would be more appropriate because you're with the same folks that like to do the same thing. But Nene was having a, a time over there, honey. She was showing her body. Uh, she was wanting the cameraman, whoever was filming her. And they were zooming right on into the tits. You know what I'm saying? They were getting the tits because she was holding them up like she wanted them to take pictures. Not of her face, but of her tits. I'm like, girl, you're doing too much you're doing too much i'm like you're a mother you're a grandmother you and that picture that we just showed with you taking yourself for yourself that's pretty you know but you don't have to show your assets nina you're not a stripper no more get with the program baby get with the program you don't want your grandchild saying mama grandmama i saw you why you had your titties out like that you know what i'm saying then you're going to get mad because you don't understand why the mama let her find a video like that. But, of course, she's, you know, a teenager. Got a phone. What else? She's going to see that. 
But yeah, Nene just, I don't know, them, she, she don't want to wear no bra. I'm like, that's why they made bra, Nene, for you to hold up the mac, the package and it be concealing. But, you know, Nene be in her own little world. I'm glad she toned that blonde stuff down that she was wearing in these wigs and kind of put it with some dark. I like that look on her. You know, I, I think the shade is very complimentary to her skin tone. I just don't, and it's probably her boyfriend told her, uh, her cheater boyfriend probably said, Nene, we need you to tone that down. You look like a fool, okay? And he, she probably took his advice. Just like when Simon told Portia, you need to wear your own hair. She came out the weave and the wigs and all of that just to appease him. But one thing Nene was saying on when she was uh, taping this picture of him doing her little short video of their vacationing together uh, she was saying he just bossy he bossy I said well okay if the relationship don't work don't talk about how he was just too bossy you see what I'm saying go on and cut his ass off right now because don't I think that's a man thing period it ain't just no African thing when men get stuck in their ways and they think they're supposed to rule everything they're supposed to have the last say on everything that can be construed as being a little bossy or bossy period but it's, it's like y'all are 50 50 in a relationship y'all give and and take it's, it's it's all about that and finding the correct correct balance for you all to communicate effectively without one person out the relationship feeling like they have been infringed upon they've been you know talked to a little harsh that they didn't feel like that should be coming to, from their partner when they're supposed to be 50 50 in the relationship just like i wonder did nene did you pay his way or he paid his own way you know because well, you know y'all not married uh, and that's an expensive trip so it would have been befitting if he paid his way and you paid your way because what you gonna do make him pay for something else to equate to the spending that you had to do for this luxurious uh vacationing thing that y'all did i mean inquiring minds want to know but yeah see that's just piss poor right there i'm like what if somebody came in your clothing store yoni and just decided they wanted to prop their feet up on your stuff while you show them clothing or they're waiting for somebody to assist them you wouldn't like it you wouldn't like it at all so why would you go to a lounge or club and th you know be sitting up on there with your dirty feet where you're supposed to be sitting down that's just uh piss poor mentality piss poor behavior but nene love your dirty draws i don't understand i really don't understand how women we got to do better we have got to do better and be better out there in society we just got to but that's all i have for this video guys i just wanted to show y'all how nene didn't want to play the philanthropy type uh role when she went over there to ghana i mean maybe she's um like in my last video where i was talking about akon building this six billion dollar project of a city uh he's naming it akon and you know i don't know if she's really got into dropping investments or money uh into that cause and she would be frequently coming over there uh to uganda or whatnot you know sheree was trying to call herself wanting to uh, uh spend some money over there as well but we will see i mean she can barely get her shit together over here all right because some things keep coming out the woodworks about her olden taxes and all this kind of shit so and then she's with this boyfriend who just got out of jail so it, it just kind of make you wonder here and there you know i'm like don't y'all we live in atlanta shit is always public you get arrested folk gonna know okay folk gonna know Cause that's what we do down here we be nosy we be nosy and everybody be it that's why i can't when she going through her report she's a seal the shit uh judge i don't want nobody knowing my true uh cost of my uh divorce i don't want nobody to know what i make because it would be detrimental and i'm like y'all know that's right can you seal those records honey some things just don't need to be known by other people and by other people i mean us as bloggers and people just in general they don't need to know your bed. They wasn't with you when you were getting on to that mess. So why put it out there for them to have access to it? Because you know these big bloggers. They're going to go get it. You may might be some small uh, bloggers as well. But I'm just not interested in it. Whatever come across my YouTube feed. 
I feel I can do commentary on. I ain't finna look for nothing. But if the shit just drops at my door, I'm gonna look it up, read it, and I'm like, let me talk to my family about this. <laughs> and I did have the time. I'd be going to my mom. Pony, you know what your favorite uh, actor did this time? Duh! Cause you know, you gotta show mama proof, and then she'll still say, I don't believe that shit. They're just trying to get that man in, or that woman in trouble. My mom be taking up for her folk, honey. But I'm like, girl, if it smells. Like shit, more than likely it's shit. If it quacks like a duck, more than like it's a duck, okay? It just is what it is. Where there is smoke, there's fire, okay? So, everybody's not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But we all have opinions and we all have perspectives on certain things that we are, are made to look at. Because, you know, we don't go and ask for them to show us their lives, you know. They put it out there for social media. I ain't going to say everybody now. Because you got some select ones that ain't finna put it. they're not there for somebody to uh, talk about or put a spotlight on them by talking about them you see what i'm saying this um, mm, i ain't gonna do that that's why i kind of uh, appreciate uh celebrities that have acquired wealth and they want that sense of not living in a fishbowl for everybody to know everything and anything about them that they don't take pictures that they don't uh let their friends take pictures of certain events because it's private it's almost like a um a ritual of a sanctity to when i spend time with my family i don't want to see it on social media i want us to be here at this moment living this moment just like if we didn't have the fame or the fortune or i didn't have the fame and the fortune you know because everybody don't want to look at somebody that's just a common life type thing they don't want to look at that so and we don't want to hear about it we all like that sensational drama field thing to kind of take us off whatever we going through okay the only thing is that about it we didn't sign up for it they signed up for it so you know they can't really get too upset or too mad about you know why the paparazzi be following them why the bloggers are always talking about them well when you put yourself in that type of setting in that type of fishbowl you either gonna have thick skin and ride it and be presentable you know don't act a fool out there in social media don't not pay your taxes don't don't not start a restaurant and you ain't hands-on in it you know what i'm saying or any business because once some of that infraction come they know that was your entity your property that you were accustomed to putting out there they're gonna blame you they're gonna talk about you they ain't gonna talk about whoever you hired to, to run whatever you got out there for the masses to uh, take part of. They're going to find you and they're going to talk about you, 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 you. Because you're the celebrity. You're the one that wanted to be out there. You're the one who wanted to start a business. You're the one who wanted the social media attention. So you get it. So that's all I got to say pretty much. But I don't like Naomi. I, he's, he's not a favorite of mine. But, you know, when you do philanthropy type work, I got to give you five five. Because everybody needs to be doing something. Okay, if it's not monetary, you can do volunteer your time, you know. Uh, any of that uh, good stuff, feel good feelings of uh, job duties or humanitarian type work. Get involved. It makes you feel better. I've done it before and still plan to do it, you know, probably till the day I die. Um... But yeah, I, I, just, I just don't like the whole situation. I don't like people saying like, Nene living her best life. I'm like, how can she be? For if she done did one infraction, she messing with a married man. The man's not single. They may be legally separated, but in God's eyes and in the law eyes, they are still married. And for her to go gallivanting, trying around, being around, being influenced with a married man as it's not good and if i was kim zodiac but i got to say kim zodiac zodiac beerman got a little bit more class than nene because she could be talking about nene she could have her own youtube channel just you know saying oh but she told me to close my my list to the married man and look at her you know tip for tap but i said okay i gotta give uh, Kim Zosiak a little high five too because she didn't get petty. She wasn't trying to be petty. She probably being petty with her friends talking about Nene, but she probably told her friends, don't put that stuff out there. Don't do, you know, that's just between me and you. That's what I feel about it. And, you know, I may tell her that ain't no good look, but I ain't going to rat her out for the masses to talk about her. But yeah, I was like, nah, totally disappointed. Totally disappointed in Nene. She's not living her true T self. She's not. She's not um, 
living her best life because I'm pretty sure Greg would not wanted her to be with a married man because how can she fulfill something how can she build something with him okay and who's to say that he might not have an epiphany and say one day I, I'm going back to my wife this is not working for me I've had a you know a revelation I need to make things work between her and I da, 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 da. and how is that gonna make you feel anything how is that gonna make you feel Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Look for more to come because you know I may talk about Portia. <laughs> I might talk about Simon or Candy or even Cynthia Bailey. You just never know because I know y'all say, oh, that's all you talk about is Portia, 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 Portia. Well, Portia's the only one that's really doing shit out here every single day. You know, every single day. She got something on her Instagram page. She, I, one time I saw the girl had tattoos all over her body. Those henna tattoos. And even had Father Time in there. I said, shit, I ain't finna talk about that. Because that's, that's too crazy. It was a cute scene, but it's crazy. Like, y'all are grown-ass people. Why are y'all acting like y'all teenagers? This is ridiculous. But anyway, uh, yeah, they always have something comical. But, honey, I saw on his channel last night, he trying to floss uh, the car. He said he gave Portia. Talking about my wife said that um, I can drive around in her car. I like only thing I liked about that video is they had a um, baby girl there. She was all happy and smiling. And I know her mama was doing the um, the taping or the, the visuals and putting it out on their channel. I was like, Simon, Simon, Simon. Again, you lead a man to his own devices, he will show up and make a total fool out of himself for the masses to see. And half the time, I will be right there. <laughs> trying to see how i can tell this story okay on mr simon g all right but that's all i got on this video guys like a lover gotta have more make sure you subscribe when you come into the house to sit down and have a combo with me and when you leave and lock the door behind you and make sure you share my videos and like my videos and i will see y'all next time Bye bye